Hi, welcome to your review, Kai P. Shog. It's been ages since I've done a review, but um, I'm sorry it's taken so long. But I'm on my Christmas holidays now, so I have the time. And um, today I'm reviewing the Nadia Stafford series by Kelly Armstrong. Now Kelly Armstrong also did the um, the Women of the Other World series, which is a really good series and it's known by a lot of people. Um, but this is, it's non-supernatural, it's just normal fiction and um, it's a three part series, it's a trilogy and the, the final book was just out not long ago. Um, there was like a three year gap or something crazy like that between the second and third book. Thankfully I only had to wait less than a year I'd say um, for the third book but um, I would <laughs> I would have been mad if I had to wait three years. Um, so it's about a, wo a woman called Nadia Stafford and she um, she used to be a cop and then something happens where she um, ends up killing um, some rapist or something but you know she does it outside of the law and then she's kind of like excommunicated from the whole police force so now she owns um, a cabin or a ranch and um, and she is an assassin so she shoots people for money but she like she has morals and she's actually a really good character like I thought she was going to be just like really suave and kind of cold um like kind of harsh female character but she's actually like the opposite of that which is surprising which is really good and um, she's really down to earth and funny and um she's kind of sweet and innocent in one way but yes yeah, she's an assassin so she does kill people but she like she won't just kill a randomer like there'll have to be a good reason for it and and then she has this mentor called jack who, who's an assassin as well and um he kind of gives her advice and all that um and I was really excited to read this because I know that Kelly Armstrong is a really good writer and everyone kept saying oh it's a really good series um, and it's kind of like a forgotten series people more focus on the other world series and not as much this one so I was really excited to read it and then I read the first book and it was good but it was a bit underwhelming like that's the word that kind of sums up the first two books and that I was expecting so much and it just didn't just didn't reach the mark like action wise, relationship wise, romance wise, it just it was all a little bit unexciting. Like she could have added a bit more. And like there's not there's not really a romance in it. And the action could have been better and you know there could have been more of a emotional involvement for the reader in it. And there is a bit. Um like the first book it's good. I think I think I gave it three point five stars, but it wasn't amazing. It wasn't what I was expecting, and I prefer the the story in the first book to the second book because second book follows the same way in terms of you know the excitement level. Um, but then the third book, which I just read, um, was brilliant, like way better than the first two, because um, the first two were only okay, but the third one was so good. Like finally, the story got better. The characters are amazing. Um, and the romance started to develop more which was great and it was more exciting and action packed and I loved it. The only negative to the third book was that the ending hmm, it could have been a little bit I don't know more I just wanted a bit more to it but um it was still a really good book so I'm glad that the series ended well um and yeah so it's a pity that the books weren't as great as I expected like they're still good enough and um like Kelly Armstrong puts, puts a lot into them. Sometimes my head was hurting trying to keep up with the um, you know, the mystery of the plot, like who's the killer and all that, because there is a lot involved and there's like a million different characters they suspect, and then it's not that person, and then you go back to this person. It like it gets kind of confusing after a while, and sometimes I was too lazy to keep up, so I wasn't paying enough attention. Um, so there was a little bit of that, but overall, it's a good series. So. I mean, if you're into something new, you know, not, nothing supernatural, it's about assassins and the characters, they're really likeable in a way. Like Jack, he can be <laughs> frustrating, uh, but now yeah, I think she's a really, really good protagonist, so that's good. And um, yeah, so check it out if you like, you know, to read something a bit different. And um, that's my spoiler free review. Okay, so now I'm going to do a spoiler review, so if you haven't read this series, I suggest you switch off now. Okay, so... Jack infuriated me with his lack of pronouns. It just got very annoying. And I couldn't imagine him speaking without a, like, without a monotone tone of voice. I just like, kept thinking he was talking like a robot. 
Um, so that's what the lack of pronouns did. But um, by the third book, he, the relationship between him and Adia was so lovely, and it kind of reminded me of Chess and Terrible from the Downside Ghost series, um, which I loved. So I thought they were great, and um, it was obvious, like from the first book, that he, you know, was practically in love with her. Um, so I thought that was really, really sweet. It was a sweet romance too. Um, and I could guess what would happen in the third book in that and Nadia was the, um, like she was also attacked and raped and everything. Um, I could guess that was going to come out because there was a like, hint of it in the first and second book. And then it was so sad and tragic but then the storyline got so much more interesting and the third book was just excellent I thought. Like the first two, yeah they were okay but um, very underwhelming but um, I'm happy that Jack and Nadia got their happy ending and um, like Evelyn's funny and Quinn is a you know funny character well, not funny haha -ha character but I don't know if I really liked him or not um, and yeah it was just it was an interesting series and I'd probably reread re the third book all right or maybe even the first book um, but yeah that's that and um, I'd like to know if you read it and what you thought about it and um, thank you very much for watching.